pictures can be used to portray many things. For instance, it can imitate reality through simultaneity by showing two things happening at once. Through the use of different camera techniques, moving pictures can be used to show an individual's mental thought process. This theory burst into life in 1916 when Hugo Munsterberg, a German-American psychologist and film theorist, published his book, The Photoplay, A Psychological Study. What exactly does Hugo mean by this theory? Let's go over to Hugo himself to find out. Thanks for that, Hugo. Now, although he makes some accurate points, his theory also had some flaws. Hugo believed that the eventual add-on of colour and sound in film wasn't necessary. He thought that films had already achieved what they needed to achieve. But how wrong he was. In fact, many older films have had colour added on them since due to modern technology in order for the audience to have a clearer image see things that they wouldn't have been able to see before. The 2013 film The Secret Life of Walter Mitty is a good example of Hugo's theory in action and how film has continued to engage and wow the audience with sound and colour. Walter tends to daydream a lot and there are several scenes in the movie which show his daydreams and therefore his thought process. These screenshots of this particular part of the film are literally showing us the mental process of Walter's thoughts as highlighted through the varying camera angles. It is argued that the decline of film, a thin flexible strip, as a medium to what we watch moving pictures will have historical and cultural consequences as audiences move to digital mediums to watch movies. However, I believe that the enhanced colour that digitalisation brings to the screen is the only way forward since the occurrence of globalisation. But more importantly, it's less about what medium moving pictures are shown on, but the story being told, the techniques being used which reflect what's going on in an individual's mind. Uh, uh, uh.